before even thinking about how you're structuring the delivery. Step one is to get your voice warm. (laughs) Don't go into it cold. Shake it out. Do some lip trills. Do some howling. Do some humming. Do some yawning and sighing. Get your voice moving. You can't just go in and in your brain say, I'm going to move my voice around. You have to open it up. You have to... No NBA player goes into a game cold. You don't park in the parking lot, go into the locker room, put on your uniform and start the game. You go in, you do the drills, you're with the team, you're passing, you're shooting. This is the same. Why would you not warm up your voice? Your voice is your instrument and you are a professional voice user. So get it warm, get it ready. And then you will find that it's so much easier to move it around. Step two, before you even think about delivery, is get yourself into a good position, especially with these Zooms. People, the ergonomic setups are all over the map. Oh yeah, terrible. And so people are, the chair is the wrong height for the desk and the laptop is down on the desk and not at eye level. You've got to get your monitor at eye level so that you're not cutting off your throat. If the camera slash your screen are below you, you're going to tip your chin down and then you've I mean, you can hear it in my voice. If you're tipping your chin down, you're cutting off your voice. And then some people, to counteract that, will stick their collarbones forward to try to make that space so they can breathe. And now you've got like a little zigzag shape in your airway, which is even worse. So make sure that your hips are underneath your ribs and your ribs are underneath your shoulder tops and the points of your shoulders are underneath your ears and your head is balanced and your eyes are looking out to the horizon and not down or up. Either way is going to make your airwave, your channel go janky and you don't want that. And if you've got a warm voice and a clear air channel, then your voice can freely move and you can think about Should I go up or down here? Should I slow down here? Where should I take a dramatic pause for effect? Where should I get warm and low and close? And where should I get bright and far and excited? You know, all of those things are after you've established that your voice is ready to do those things and your air is accessible to you. Subscribe to Outliers with Daniel Scrivener now in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts and be the first to hear about new episodes and receive exclusive content by joining our newsletter at outliers.fm. I can't wait to help you level up and live your best life.